Welcome back. Continuing concerns tonight over reports that the FBI and Secret Service are investigating reports that the non-governmental personal email accounts of CIA Director John Brennan and Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson were hacked. The investigation comes after a hacker claiming he compromised the personal AOL account of Director Brennan was interviewed by the New York Post. The hacker claims the account included files regarding... CIA Director Brenner's security clearance application. To talk about this and other important subjects, we welcome in the senior senator from Oklahoma, Jim Inhofe. The senator serves as a member of the Senate Committee on Armed Forces, and he is chairman of the Senate Committee on Environment and Public Works. Jim, thanks for your time on Newsmax Prime. I want to get to your committee in just a second, but first this news about a hacker getting into cabinet-level officers' personal accounts. Uh, is this administration lax in that regard? Well, obviously they are, and, and it's funny you'd mention John Brennan because right now the big issue there that you're going to uh, be watching is, is Hillary on the Benghazi thing, on, I think on Thursday. And John Brennan is one of them who has uh, advised the president way back during the week of the Benghazi thing uh, as th that it was an organized terrorist attack. Now, I think what's coming up right now is just shows how easy it is uh, for people to get in and uh, how lax security is. So what kind of protocols need to be put in place, Jim? What, what do we need to do to solve this problem? Well, let's start off by getting a new president. <laughs> We've got to wait a little while for that, but that would be something we have to deal with. Let's uh, turn now to your committee. Uh, the one you chair on environment and public works. You recently sent out a letter to the State Department, the EEA, and the CEQ asking them to participate in a hearing on the administration's international negotiations on so-called climate change. Both the EPA and the CEQ declined to participate. How on it's, earth can they get away with that, Jim? Well, they can get away with it just by not showing up. You can't physically haul them in, and uh, you can't do it with a subpoena unless you have the cooperation of the in this case, it would be Barbara Boxer. I'm the chairman of the committee. She's the ranking uh, Democrat member. Uh, but this is unheard of. This has never, I believe, never happened before in the history of the United States Senate when the committee that has the jurisdiction over a bureaucracy and has oversight constitutional requirements not to be able to just pull them in and have them just refuse to show up. This has not happened before. And it shows how desperate they are. Because all we're going to do is just is find, try to find out how is the president going to s do what he says he's going to do when he goes to Paris, which is reduce uh, CO2 emissions in the United States of America by 28% by 2025. He can't do it. And he knows he can't do it. And so none, he, he, he is the one who's not allowing his bureaucracy to show up as witnesses. But this has never happened before, J.D. So is there any way to lean on Barbara? Will she sign for a subpoena? Is there any more senatorial courtesy coming from the Democrat side? Well, I think the senatorial courtesy sounds good uh, to the general public, but when it gets down to make a decision between supporting their, their liberal leader in the White House and senatorial courtesy, I, I think I know who's going to win. Yeah, well, let's talk more about the outlook of that uh, leader in the White House. He talks about climate change as an urgent threat to national security. Uh, how do you see so-called well, climate change? You know, this is so stupid. It shows how off they are. And the American people, by the way, know this. You've been watching the polling. It's gone from number one and number two, global warming, as an issue to number, now dead last at number 15. So people have caught on. But to have have terrorism taking place in, uh, throughout the world. And we're, we're talking about North Korea. We're talking about Yemen. We're talking about Iran, Iraq. We're talking about all Syria, all the problem areas. And yet they're beheading Americans. And we have a president who says the most critical thing right now is global warming. So I think that's what's caused the public to catch on. And they can use the power of the presidency all they want. It's not going to work. Getting back, though, to this idea that you know, it's set up so that the unelected bureaucracy has to uh, be under oversight of someone who's elected. That happens to be the United States Senate. And to have them, for the first time in the history of the United States Senate, refuse to come in to the committee that has oversight over them, it just shows you that uh, a level of desperation has shown it. And by the way, you know, but a lot of your people out there may not be aware, this is the 21st year they've had this... this um, uh, 
this, the big UN meeting on uh, climate change, on global warming. And I've gone to a couple of them in the past. And uh, this is, a, you know, here the president is talking about joining into $100 billion to spend on, uh, in, in third world countries to keep them from providing their own electricity. The whole thing is just ludicrous. Yeah, it sounds expensive and it sounds uh, like it's its own type of national security threat. Not to mention the arrogance of these, uh, these agencies within the government that should be accountable to the legislative branch. Jim Inhofe, here's, here's, senior here's, senator here's, from here's. Oklahoma. Uh, sir, we're out of time, but we'll have you back real soon to talk again here on Newsmax Prime. Coming up, a debate over gun control. Will there be executive overreach on that important topic? That's ahead as Newsmax Prime continues.